Now that you've purchased your remote control curtain system, please find a clean spot on the floor to set it up. Clip off the zip ties on the cable. Unravel the cable to accommodate an extension. You need just enough slack for a single extension, no more than six feet. Twist tie off the excess slack. To allow the cable to move freely on the carrier, loosen the clip on carrier A. We now need to take off the end cap. Make sure you note the position of this clip so that you can reinstall it later. Pull off the end cap while holding the eyelets so they are not pulled out. Pull out enough cable to fit your extension. You now need the track connector. Loosen the screws but still leave them in the connector. Do not take them all the way out. It is important to note that the track extensions can be cut to any desired length. We are now ready to install the connector. Make sure the cable is in the groove and slide on the two tracks till they touch in the middle. Tighten the screws to secure the connector. Do not over tighten. This may damage the tracks. With another person helping, pull the slack in the cable. Firmly pulling the cables will reconnect the end cap. Make sure the end cap is all the way on as far as possible. Before securing the end cap, you may add or subtract eyelets. You can also do this to the other end. Tighten the screw to a snug fit. Move the carriers to opposite ends of the track. One person securing carrier B while the other person is sliding carrier A while also holding and guiding the cables. Double check to make sure both carriers are at the ends. While wearing gloves, hold carrier A and pull the cables tight, all the while making sure the carriers are at opposite ends. Secure the cables by pinching them off. Give the cables another tug to get rid of any remaining slack and tighten the screw. Double check and inspect the wheel at the end cap to be assured the cable is in the wheel's groove. Also inspect the wheel inside the motor cap. The cable should be in the groove. We have opened up the motor cap to show you where the cable is in the wheel groove. The wheel will spin when the cable is pulled. Please do not open up the cover on the motor cap unless it is necessary. Pull and push the carriers. They should move in opposite directions, or one direction if you have a side opening. The eyelets should also glide freely and effortlessly. A good way to test this out is to tilt the track and see if they fall to the lower end. There it is, nice and smooth. If an eyelet gets stuck, it is most likely caught in the cable. With a small flathead screwdriver, free the cable from the eyelet. To install the motor, at a 45 degree angle with the label facing towards you, twist into position till the locking tab clicks and it is firmly locked. The locking tab is also the motor release. Push on the tab and twist 45 degrees to release the motor. Connect the control box cable to port A. Then connect the power cable to port B. You will see a green light on the control box, indicating that the control box is ready. The remote control curtain is a one-touch system. Press either button to see if the carriers are moving. This unit also has an auto-stop feature. When the carriers are at the end, they will stop. If the auto-stop does not work, you may need to adjust the cable tension. With the provided wrench, Tighten the bolt on the end of the motor cap. As you can see, the cable is now much tighter. Do not over tighten the bolt. Over tightening will strain the motor or break the cable. The included remote works up to 30 feet away from the control box, and it operates just like the control box. Slide the cylinder attached to the cables up to the carrier. With needle nose pliers, crimp the cylinder to secure the cables. Loop up a foot or more of the cables in case you need to make future adjustments. With wire cutters, snip off the excess cable. Twist tie or zip tie the extra cable to keep it neat. If you have any questions regarding your remote control curtain system, please email us. 
send all emails to remotecontrolcurtain at gmail.com.